Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I'm really very amused to watch my goldfish. Actually this tank is the tank of all breeder goldfish that I have and their population in this tank is actually more than 70 maybe 75 to 80 goldfish and they are all breeders and I would like to make a video on the topic how we're gonna prepare our goldfish in order to spoon and also how to identify our goldfish whether it is male or a female and this has been the common problem of every breeder we don't know how to identify whether our fish is a male or a female well I empathize with you I understand it because it's really very difficult to tell whether a goldfish is a male or a female aside from the fact that they have uniform bodies meaning it is not really distinguishable through their body form it is also very difficult to sex them according to their behaviors because they all have behaviors it's not like chickens it's not like dogs that the male has different behaviors from the female so I would like to teach you the simplest way possible on how to distinguish a male goldfish from a female you will see that I have here a shallow tank and this tank is just made of wood and a tarp when you desire breeding this goldfish you will not spend too much money in order for you to be able to breed what is important is you know how to condition your fish the next question that maybe you will ask is Dexter how would we condition our fish well the conditioning of our goldfish is really very important especially when we decide to breed them to let them spawn number one is we have to get the high protein food commercial food that are available in the market but in my case I am using the natural food I am referring to the dapnia I am referring to the mosquito larva and also the housefly you know housefly can also be a good source of protein for our goldfish and during summer when there is no available dapnia or mosquito larva I use the housefly I will catch them and feed that to the goldfish another question that maybe you will ask how often do we feed our goldfish to tell you frankly and honestly I am feeding my goldfish more than 10 times a day especially when we are undergoing the conditioning process because it is in their food that they will develop eggs in their bellies especially high protein food and the next question will they not die it depends because if you are going to give food to your goldfish more than 10 times it's really very dangerous because they might suffer in digestion so ours is to make some steps in order for them to digest their food easily and the next question is how you have to improve the cycling of the water if you will look over there I use two submersible pumps and one air pump in the middle I use this because the good cycle of the water will clean up all the dirt and will help them digest their food if the water condition is good they can just eat anytime as often as you may like it I have here a commercial food and just this morning I have given them the dapnia and this is already the fifth times that I have given them their favorite food so aside from the filtration the good cycling of the water we have to siphon all the dirt every now and then in my case I am siphoning the dirt four times in a day especially if we are on the process of conditioning our breeders if you will see that the breeders are already suitable for breeding then that's the time that you will get them all and place that in a spawning tank that you have prepared so actually guys I have already prepared a spawning tank and please watch this one so this is the spawning tank that I have prepared for the Ryukin Calico well I am challenged with this Ryukin Calico because they are the youngest breeders in my spawning tank and I haven't yet tried to breed them that's why I am very challenged and my intention is to breed them tonight so this is the spawning tank it's very shallow if you will note 
that's only 5 inches in depth and it has a width of 18 inches and 36 inches in length and you will see that the spawning tank has already water and this is not an ordinary water what I mean is that this water had already been conditioned two days ago so this is an aged water and you will see that we have here this plants this hornwort well if you are breeding goldfish and you are going to maximize your production having this plant this hornwort and the hydrilla is really very recommended I would like to recommend that you will use the hydrilla and also this hornwort because this will induce the breeders to spawn their eggs so this is I would like to repeat an aged water and I believe that this has already been conditioned and ready to accommodate the eggs of our Calico Ryukin breeders. So I will show you the actual placing of our breeders here in this tank. So this is the next process. Actually, we have already collected all our breeders of this Calico uh, Ryukin. This is one of the most crucial thing to do because we have to gently get our fish so that they will not be disturbed, so that they will not become affected in the, in the breeding. Because sometimes we might injure the breeder. That is why we have to get this one very gently. Maybe you will ask, Dexter, will this goldfish lay eggs in the common tank? My answer is, it depends. But normally, we don't allow the fish to breed in the common tank because tendencies are all the other fish will eat the eggs. And also, we cannot control the, the breeding because in this box, we have so many kinds of goldfish. And if we will allow our fish to lay their eggs, the male fish, which of different kind, will also chase the ones that will spawn so there will be a cross breeding that you cannot anymore control the quality of our fish we will load this now in our spawning tank that was prepared two days ago and this is very important as what i have said we cannot just get the water new water and then put our breeders because sometimes they may breed but they will not hatch the eggs because of the water condition So guys, we will gently transfer now this fish. Actually, they are just six months old and it is my first time to breed them. So guys, it is my normal process to release this uh, breeder in the spawning tank at 7 o'clock in the evening. And we expect that by tomorrow, early in the morning at maybe around 5 o'clock, there's gonna be chasing that we are going to witness. The male will really chase the female goldfish and the female goldfish will start spawning her eggs and chased by the male to fertilize the eggs. My intention is to also encourage others to breed their goldfish. It is very difficult if we don't know the process but since we already have told you about all these things and you will try this one, I believe you will be able to make it. There are 16 of them and I don't have any idea how many males and how many females that are here but tomorrow if they gonna breed we will know how many males and how many females we have so for the time being let's wait at 5 a.m. tomorrow and we will make an update So guys, this is now the third part of the process which is the actual spawning 
of these goldfish breeders in the spawning tank and as I have told you before that there is no other time except 4 to 7 o'clock at dawn where this goldfish will lay eggs I am so glad that our preparation had been so successful you can see over here that there are goldfish breeder goldfish that are really chasing I don't know if how many female goldfish had laid their eggs but I spotted at least four being chased by so many so many of this male goldfish and uh, one tip that I would like to also emphasize is that it's better to have more male goldfish than the female because if you have more male goldfish in the breeding tank you will be assured of high fertility or higher hatchability because these eggs gonna be fertilized after allowing this fish to breathe to chase and to lay their eggs it's very important to get them immediately because they will also start eating their eggs after they chase they will eat their eggs because they are already very hungry in doing this process we should bear in mind that we don't damage the fish well my way of preserving the fish is to get them very gently and of course we will get first the female the one that is being chased because uh, all the rest are already male goldfish that's why we we don't have to put them in one single container because they will continue on chasing the female goldfish that sometimes it will result to the female's death okay so maybe I have to really get inside so that we can see very clearly which among them is the female actually guys we only have four female goldfish right here and uh, all the rest are actually already male goldfish and they are there are 16 of them 16 breeders and only four are females so all the rest the 12 are already male goldfish and uh, many of you are really very puzzled about how to select or to sex your your goldfish well if you are smart enough you don't need to look at the dorsal or pectoral fins and see if there are white spots on the side of the fins but my practice is i don't anymore waste time looking at the goldfish if you have for example this kind of fish my way of knowing the male from the female is to put them together in the breeding tank you provide with good water and of course the plants and then at dawn you will see that the male are chasing the female goldfish so those ones who have chased are automatically and this is 100 percent accurate automatically the male ones the ones that chase the the female of course the the one that is being chased is the female goldfish so this is it now we have the four female goldfish and we will separate them in a prepared net right there This is their common tank and maybe tomorrow or the next day we will again breed this crown pearl. This one, we have this crown pearl, we have this ryokin, red ryokin. Look at the back and of course this uh, big uh, ranchu and we have here the demikin, the black demikin. So this is actually producing lots of babies. You don't need to have plenty of breeders. As long as you have that good quality of breeders that are really spawners because there are fish that are not really into breeding meaning that they are not potential to become breeders really but uh, this is already a selection and this is the the process so we will now get all the males
and one tip that I can give to you guys is you really have to count your fish because sometimes we fail to check that there are remnants I mean that you cannot get this all and then you allow the, the eggs to to hatch and then there is one goldfish that is left this is very crucial because the goldfish will eat all the fry and I have experienced this one since we have 16 fish right here and we already got the 14 so we will get the 12 so it's really very important to count them so guys I have here uh, the 12 males and if you will see them their bodies are long elongated bodies while these uh, female ones uh, have short bodies and they also have darker colors compared to the female the purpose of segregating the the female is of course I have already mentioned but I would like to repeat this one in order to avoid damaging the the female goldfish is to prevent this male goldfish from continuously chase this uh, female goldfish Wow. So guys, this is all that we can share. I hope you will be guided by the methods and techniques that we are sharing and I hope you will start your own breeding and become successful. My dream in life is to share my techniques and methods in order for others also to become successful. And it's my pleasure seeing those comments that have positive affirmation on the things that we have done on this channel and i am so happy to know also that there are those who have followed our techniques have become successful in so far as breeding of this ornamental fish is concerned so i hope you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may i ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of every video that we are going to upload we're uploading videos every five days only here at Dexter's World!